I think the transfiguration of Jesus is such an important part of scripture. It affirms that Jesus is not just another prophet. He is the son of God. Through this, he shines this light that illuminates a path to God. It gives us a push to be more like him and to fully bask in God's glory. This is something I find very important in my life is to be more like Christ. Um, again, Jesus was not just another prophet. He was God as a human and God is perfect. Obviously, perfection is impossible, but we should always strive to be as close to perfection. Uh, my faith journey is definitely not perfect. It's had its ebbs and flows. Um, in the times where my faith was not at its strongest, um, I could feel myself getting lost in the darkness. It's very scary. Um, I felt very stationary and stuck. Um, but in times where my faith is at its strongest, I can feel myself change and even transfigure in God's love and light. Um, in this difficult time that we're experiencing, there's no doubt that many of us have had our ebbs and flows um, in our faith journey. I can definitely attest to this with difficulty coming to mass um, and isolation and having my own internal struggles. Um, I began to get stuck in the darkness. Now, I actually thought that Jesus was not revealing himself to me like he did in the transfiguration, but it wasn't the question of whether he reveals himself to me, it's whether I reveal myself to him. Um, through the transfiguration of Christ, he revealed himself as the son of God, and it's up to us and each and every one of us to accept this revelation. Another thing I found kind of cool about the transfiguration um, is that Jesus went to the top of the mountain, away from the crowds, away from the chaos, to just be at peace with God. I think that's something quite relatable for all of us to uh, trying to escape the chaos of everyday life. For me personally, I'm a high school junior at PK Young, but I also take college classes at Santa Fe, so it's a lot of workload. Not only that, I'm the vice president of the junior class for student government. Um, I am preparing for a state theater competition. I do piano with Mr. Gary. I come to mass to sing now, and I also go to youth group at night. So it's very chaotic. Um, not to mention that there's a whole pandemic happening. Uh, but the thing is, Jesus had a very similar situation. He had obligations of preaching to the crowds, but he needed a break to go to the mountain and pray. And I feel like that's something that we all definitely need. It's just that few, few moments alone with God. Um, for me personally, it's very hard to comprehend God. He is everywhere, but you can't see, them with, see him with the naked eye. But with Jesus revealing himself as the son of God, as a human, he's a human, and it's easier for us, especially me as a 17-year-old, to comprehend that, a comprehend something that we can see. Um, and if we comprehend that, we make it easier for us to become closer to him and be more like him. We know he is God, he fulfilled the law and the prophets, and he now offers us a light to strengthen our souls and to be closer to God. So as we enter the Lenten season, we should make time, even just for a few minutes, to just sit with God so that we may be illuminated and become more like Christ.